Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. Still, <laughs> uh, congratulations to all the 2016 Psycho MVPs. Uh, well done, guys. We have a new category this year commerce. So we have technology, digital, and commerce. Uh, so congratulations to um, all the newcomers and all the repeats. Well done, everyone. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the summit this year. For those of you unfamiliar with the MVP program, check out uh, sitecore.net slash forward slash MVP for more information and make sure to have one on your future Psycho project. So in this episode, uh, what I'd like to do is take a bit of a different angle at the best practice and show you guys a tip uh, that I use in my Psycho solutions, which helps me tailor uh, the content editor a bit more towards the type of work that I do on a daily basis and also increase its performance. So let's take a look at what I'm uh, talking about here. So let's log into Sitecore and see if you can spot a small customization that I made to the content editor. Yep, all the toolbars are gone. Sitecore allows us to specify which toolbars and buttons we want shown um, in uh, the content editor toolbar. So why would we want to do that? Well, have you ever had to look for a button going through multiple tabs? <laughs> I've done that many times. So what I like to do is only enable toolbars uh, or buttons uh, that relate to the type of work that I do on a daily basis. So I don't have to look through multiple toolbars that have irrelevant functionality. For instance, if you're a developer, perhaps the reporting button is not the one you'll be using on a daily basis or care about at all. In fact, if you've ever created users in Sitecore and assigned them to roles like designers, authors, uh, or developers, and logged in with those user accounts, you would have noticed that they have different sets of toolbars and buttons available to them. So what I like to do as a developer is hide all of the toolbars in the content editor toolbar except for my toolbar and use the customize option of my toolbar to add only the buttons that I use the most or I use on a daily basis um, to that toolbar. So what that does is uh, allows me to have access to the functionality that I, use, that I use on a daily basis right away without having to look for it. And since Content Editor doesn't have to load all the additional toolbars now, it increases its performance as well. So let's take a look at how we can set that up. Well, first thing you want to do is uh, disable all the irrelevant toolbars and you can do that by right clicking on this uh, gray area with the uh, toolbar tabs and simply unchecking toolbars that you want hidden. So once that's done, navigate to My Toolbar and go ahead and click the Customize button. Now by default, My Toolbar doesn't have any buttons except for Save and Customize. So at this point, we want to add the buttons that we use on a daily basis that relate to the type of work that we do. And you can do that by simply selecting the button and uh, moving it over to the right side. And you can do it by selecting an item, clicking the right button, or simply double clicking on it. Uh, by the way, double clicking works on all the multi-select controls in Sitecore. So I, I already have a pretty good list here. So once you're done, go ahead and hit OK, and that will show buttons on my toolbar. Now Sitecore actually goes a bit further and allows us to uh, separate related buttons into sections. And we can do that by adding what's called a separator in between the buttons. So let's take a look here. As you can see, I've uh, separated the reset field button away from the icon and the sign, and I've separated the index buttons and the bucketing section. Uh, it would probably be a good idea to separate the presentation layer buttons away from publishing. And as you can see right here, we have the first and last buttons uh, spanning across uh, multiple columns. So it would probably be good to put a separator right between the first and the experience editor buttons, which would then move the first button over to the right column, drop last to the bottom, and it would actually organize the checklist a bit better. So let's see if we can do that real quick. So let's go ahead and uh, grab a couple of separators. So we'll use one to separate uh, presentation layer buttons away from publishing. So we put it right in between the publish and the reset buttons. 
and we'll use the second separator to separate out the page editor which appeared as experience editor in the toolbar and the uh, move first button and there we go so now we have the presentation layer section organized uh, separated away from the publishing and our smaller buttons and the checklist is uh, a bit better organized now so you can use these separators to group uh, related buttons um, to easier uh, to be able to easier distinguish them for instance uh, there are a couple reset buttons that I have here one is for resetting fields and one is for resetting presentation layer details so grouping them in separate sections helps me uh, distinguish them much easier so hopefully you find this tip helpful and uh, use it in your future projects if you like this video go ahead and uh, comment below like it subscribe to my youtube channel and for more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com. And again, my name is Vasily Fomichev, and I'm a Sitecore Technology MVP. And I will see you next Friday. Over and out.